Hello and welcome back to another SolarTrack how-to video. In this session we're going to discuss notifications. By setting up notifications you're determining when and how SolarTrack is going to contact you and under what circumstances. Before we start I want you to know that notifications are user specific and will be applied to the user who's presently logged in. So this allows you an enormous amount of flexibility within your organization. Let's go up here to notifications and click on the button. Now you'll see that SolarTrack already knows that I am in the Eastern time zone, but if you'd like to change that, you can use this drop-down menu. SMS stands for Short Message Service. You and I know this as text messages. I've already entered my phone number here, and I've chosen my carrier from this list. If you'd like to get a test message, click on this button and you'll get a sample SolarTrack text message on your phone. Critical voltage notifications. This we have pre-checked for you to receive by email. And this would be if a battery goes below uh, 12 volts or below 24 volts for more than three hours, because we find that critical. We've checked that for you. If you'd like to uncheck it, you can. So let's go down to the notification area. First thing we're going to do is select the event that we would like to be notified of. And you can see there's a large amount of choices here. I'm going to set up a specific notification just for my equipment in geofences. So I'd like to be notified when a piece of equipment enters a geofence and by clicking again, the list comes up again, when it leaves a geofence. And I'm going to select specifically aerial platforms and all of my message boards. The cameras light towers and skid steers. So this rule will now apply to all of these groups, no matter how many are in this group. If you want to select specific assets from these groups, all of your assets will appear here. Since this is a training video, we only have two assets, but by leaving this blank, I'm going to apply it to every asset that is in these groups. Now I want to select which geofences I'll be alerted that the equipment is entering and leaving. So I'm going to pick the state of Pennsylvania and the service area around my Austin branch. I'd like to know when equipment enters and leaves geofences in my Austin branch and at the headquarters for the company. My next choice is how do I want to be alerted? If I choose SMS, that remember is text messages, that notification will be sent to the cell phone I entered up here. Just to back it up, I'm also going to choose email and that will be sent to my email address. All I need to do to have this notification take effect is hit save. Now to add another rule, I simply come down here and click on the add rule button and the same drop downs and the same events come up and I can set up as many rules as I'd like for as many groups as I'd like and for specific assets. Just in case, we've added text to the right hand side that reminds you of how to set up notifications. Notifications are probably something you'll set up initially and maybe modify later. So all of the clues on how to set one up are right here on the screen for you. We hope that this has been useful. If you do have any questions, please contact the SolarTrack support team. And here's our number.